It's Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. And you won't be hearing any of that here. Hey, hey, what you got going on? I've been thinking about you, baby, all day long. All up in my head like the hook and a song. When's the last time you looked outside at the moon and the stars ain't they hanging just right? You got the time, I got the ride, I can swing my Where you wanna go, yeah, you can sit there pretty Don't worry about nothing Just bring a little extra bit of that love in I'm on my way, yeah, that's what's up Got a little scene missing you in my truck You wait to find a bee buckled up Sure enough, gonna have to slide close to me Yeah, girl, I got a, I got a feeling we're on the song something Let's get you hard in your favorite song And the way to fix that's when I pull up Lord knows I love to see you come on into me Yeah, girl, I got a, I got a feeling we're on the sun something Let's get your heart and your favorite song bump up And you gonna know it, baby, when I get to kissing on you I got a, I got a night with your name on it I got a, I got a feeling we're on the sun something Let's get your heart and your favorite song bump up And you gonna know Off the Beaten Path podcast with me, Ben Merritt. There you go. Lead track off of our uh, hour tonight. That is Outshine and Night with Your Name on it. Oh, that I mean, I've I've been a fan of now Outshine basically since I started the podcast because they were one of the first bands that I I I found that I was like, holy cow, who are these guys? These guys are underrepresented, and I'm gonna try and do what I can to spread the word. There's a few of those out there that were like that. Um, let's see, we had uh, well Outshine. We've also had you know uh, the Lax. Um, you know, I mean, there's just a bunch of bands out there and a bunch of artists out there that I've constantly gone back to and just been like, yeah, these guys are great. They need more and more representation. Uh, Clayton Anderson. So we had him on the podcast. We also had Curtis J or Curtis Grimes had him on the podcast. Uh, Brandon Chase along with, uh, Lexi Larson and Sunday Best. And I mean, there's just so many of them that we've been able to get on the podcast well, this is another one of those episodes where we've got Jacob Martin Band. Jacob Martin Band, I basically think, I think as a matter of fact, let me dig into the archives really quick. I think, no, never mind. <laughs> I was like, I think they were the first song I ever put on the podcast, but they were not. But close enough. 
Jacob Martin band, uh, Jacob Martin from the band, obviously, is uh, my guest this episode. And uh, looking forward to letting you guys hear the conversation that we had because it got goofy. Not going to lie. So stick around for that. Also stick around right now because, uh, well, Kimberly Dunn of the Forever on the Run album. This is a song after the namesake of another big, big band out there. This is Randy Rogers. Check this one out again. Kimberly Dunn, spectacular young female artist coming out of Texas. It's right here on Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. It's Thursday night. It's honky tonk time. So my girls and I get dressed up fine. And we put our boots on and our tank got some mini skirts. Tears are rolling down my face And a tissue is all it takes To wipe them away Oh, my music box The song comes on One after another Reminds me of our days long I hear it Podcast with me, Ben Merrick, Kimberly Dunn, right there, and Randy Rogers. Okay, obviously talks about Stan, Stoney Larue and Eli Young Band as well. So not just about Randy Rogers, but you you get the idea, right? Kimberly Dunn off the Beaten Path Podcast, Ben Merrick, Jacob Martin Band, names and names and names and names. 
but it's important, actually. So uh, stick around. Jacob Martin Band coming up in just a little bit. But first, I want to talk about this guy. He's coming out of Kansas. Uh, big popular guy there in the uh, the middle portion of the country. Uh, Kansas, Iowa, Missouri. He hits all of those very frequently. Known as T-Marv, affectionately by his fan base. And uh, this is his first single that he's released to Country Music Radio. Uh, this is Travis Marvin. Travis Marvin, not Martin. Travis Marvin. And this is his brand new single, Again Someday. This is a story that hits home very hard with a lot of people. And uh, he wants to make sure that this is uh, a story that gets told. He said that it's a very important story that needs to be heard. So here you go. Here's Travis Marvin now. It's off the Beaten Path podcast. And this is Again Someday. Off the Beaten 
Tap Podcast. Fresh, fresh, fresh new country. At OTBP Podcast. Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. And again, uh, I, I've had this situation happen a couple of times previously where I have to talk to an artist or I get to talk to an artist a couple of times. Usually it's because of my own mistakes and fault, but uh, I'm going to take the credit and the blame on this one as well. But it's great because finally we've hammered him down as the lead man from the Jacob Martin Band. Jacob Martin, sir, how are you? What's going on? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, and uh, it, we've talked probably, what, a half a dozen times now between the two of us? <laughs> yes, trying to make this thing happen here. Yeah, well, finally we were able to be, you know, I mean, you're busy, I'm busy, not as busy as you are, but finally we're going to get this worked out. Awesome. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> well, the uh, the luster and allure of the icebreaker questions have been broken because you've been asked them before, so... Question number one, sir. Where are you right now? I am in Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> See, he didn't get very specific on that one because, well, it, it, anyway, got a little awkward last time. <laughs> did it? No, did no, it? not really. <laughs> no, I'm in. No, I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, bundled up in a in a blanket with a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh yeah, it's chilly. Having down a there. wonderful interview with Ben Merritt. There you go. Yeah, it's a little chilly down there from what I understand, huh? Yeah, it's getting chillier. It sucks. <laughs> uh, right now, currently outside my window here in northern Wisconsin, it's three degrees, so feel free to come on up and visit. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. All right. <laughs> Question number two. Uh, you already answered halfway. You got a blanket on, but what else are you wearing, man? How comfortable are you? Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I've got... Uh... One of those wind, like windbreaker pants. I've got those on. All right. You know, little windbreaker pants, and I got some uh, just a just a t-shirt on. There you go. Uh, well, the, the... got like a fancy uh, full of. I don't know. It's like a record player. It, it's weird. I didn't even know it was a record player when I bought it. But, uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> it, it covers the whole shirt. It's um, yeah. I don't wear it. <laughs> I wear it when I'm inside, and then I put stuff over mm-hmm. it. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, so. that's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jacob Martin is the lead singer of the Jacob Martin Band, and uh, kind of a interesting deal behind your your origination, your origins. Um, it, everybody always talks about, you know, I'm going to get on Craigslist, and I'm going to get some guys together, and we're going to start a band. Well, you actually did it. And it's working out really well. You know, normally, those bands are garage bands or bar bands at best. I know. But you guys yeah. are doing really well with it now. That's yeah, it's really cool. Out of, out of all, like, you know, we we've all been playing a lot together and stuff, and uh, or just playing in bands, you know, and 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 have built up, you know, resumes and, and relationships, and through all the professional ways of, of finding professional musicians that just so happened to be the Craigslist, you know? Um, and and wherever Craig is, I just wanted to know that, you know, one day he'll hear us play and, and maybe be really proud of this, of this group he put together. But, um, no, uh, yeah, Craigslist, it, it just, it, one way or another, it really did happen that we all met through Craigslist because it, it started with the drummer and I, and then Jacob Martin did, and then two two guys had to eventually leave, um, and then now we've got the core this group that's been together for quite a while now, and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. So, but we all met Craigslist. There you go. It's not just for free couches and. Uh... Last year's Halloween costumes anymore. You can you can. No, but it's putting together <laughs> a band, a professional brothers, a, pas- a professional yeah. Nashville quality band out of it. So there you go. That's right. That's crazy. <laughs> now, um, I mean, don't don't get me wrong. We had to go through some uh, some uh, interesting people to uh, to get to the to the quality, but uh, it was a it was a good time. Oh, I'm I'm only imagining some of the faces that came through the band's uh, doorway there before you got uh, where you are. Yeah, I play bass. Yeah, heck yeah, I play bass. No, I'm <laughs> and then he just pulls out uh, like you know what is the wash tub with a broom handle and a string? Yeah, that one. Totally. Yeah, yeah. I made this uh, on my way here, and uh, <laughs> sound pretty good. No, I'm good. Yeah, we'll, we'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
Jacob Martin from the Jacob Martin Band here on Off the Beaten Path Podcast. And uh, now, the you've got a new EP out, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But the very first song that most people heard from you guys that kind of splashed you literally across the board, you know, in Nashville and across the country as well, was Wrap Around Porch. That, that was a great single. We're going to play it here in just a little bit. But tell us how that one kind of grew and how it, it kind of – you realized that this was how you want to introduce yourself to, the you know, the – country music fan and the country music scene out there yeah we're pretty um you know coming to, to town it was a different like you know starting off in in, in minneapolis in the in the midwest area um you know i used to with the, the first disc that we released i used to you know do a lot of the writing myself or you know some of the, the band the guys within the band and stuff but coming down it's been really cool just coming down getting closer to the business of of uh, country music and down here in Nashville and being able to write like I've been really blessed to write with the people that I've seen in like CD sleeves and in and, and different stuff and um uh which is is, is totally cool but this, so you know and then there's a way of, there, there's another way of like you know finding songs and stuff like that it's uh without writing, you know, with Nashville, there's so many good writers and, and, and things that you, you go, you can get connected into, uh, you know, listening meetings where you're listening to published, you know, at publishing companies where Mm -hmm. they're showing you songs that, you know, obviously other people have written. And this one that just hit us listening to it, um, it was real edgy. Um, and, uh, I mean, it was pretty, you know, pretty, pretty edgy with the with country lyrics and that's kind of you know the band we are we're pretty like to like to rock and roll a little bit and and, uh um and this one was like with like brett james and ashley gorley there were some pretty big songwriters on it which didn't i mean didn't really matter it was just the the country imagery lyrically and then the 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 I mean, we kind of knew listening to the to the demo of it that we could probably rock it out a little bit, and um, uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was cool. Um, so that was one of the the first songs we kind of heard. We're like, eh, we could we could lay this one down, there you um, go. do something with this, and um, you know, I think it's cool. Like, it's lyrically, it's just you know, a lot of uh, I've had a lot of women. Um, got a lot of dates from that so no i'm just kidding uh, uh i don't feel like you're women, kidding you know though. women are just like you know they're just like oh I like wrap around sports you know that's like you know that's you know, like a country girl's dream to to uh live in a country you know with one of those wrap around porches you know mm-hmm. the white picket fence and the kids and stuff like that and uh i just lyrically it's great and there yeah. you go and, I think I've said I think I've said quite enough. Man. <laughs> I think you have. About I think that. it's uh, I think it's pretty well explained, and it's time to just take a listen to it, and, uh, and then we'll dive into a little bit more of what the band's got looking forward here in just a little bit. All right, sir. Right on. All right, stick around. We're not done with Jacob Martin just yet, but here it is: the Jacob Martin Band, their very first single that you got to hear. You heard it here on Off the Beat Podcast before, but here it is now. It's Wrap Around Porch. With the paparazzi cameras flash Know all that bling Just ain't her thing She's got a different dream She wants to look out the window And see the kids in the yard See saw yelling me all look ma We caught a frog in the fishing pond She wants me coming up a dirt road
the tune that introduced you to the man and the band that I've got on the line, Jacob Martin from the Jacob Martin Band on the line, sir. How are you? How you doing? Good. I'm, I'm still here. Yeah, still wrapped up, still cozy in the in the blanket with the coffee and all that? Yeah, so we, we had the interview. We had an interview before. Yeah. And I'm telling the, I'm telling the <laughs> listeners. And then it was a great interview, and I think uh, we were saying the word turd. We turd were. Was the word. Yes. And uh, I can't remember how it how it came up, but uh, I can't the, either. Uh, turd was like we said it like fifty times, and you were going to do a ding. Yeah. Um, when when the word <laughs> turd was said, so I want I'm gonna I'm gonna say turd, and then you're gonna ding it. All right, you gotta edit it. Ready? Yeah. Turd. <laughs> I'll just start. I'll I'll do it from now on. I promise. But it, right only on. if it fits in the conversation. I think from now on. So great, great. All right. So <laughs> all right. Turd is the word. I I don't. Anyway, we got cut off. Was that was weird? Like the the telephones went down in the in your station. Yeah. Or something like that. That was weird. Yeah. I don't know how that happened either. It was. It was really weird. The the beauties of living in northern Wisconsin is sometimes the utilities just die. They just die. <laughs> I sent you a te- I sent you an email and a text message like immediately. I was like, I didn't just hang up on you for saying turd too many times. I promise. <laughs> yeah. So man, this dude's saying turd way too much. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about I'm this. I'm cutting the cord on turd. <laughs> here. Oh. There you go. All right. Well, back to business. Thank you for uh, bringing that up, by the way. I was going to try and just sweep that under the, the rug, but no worries. Yeah, sorry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Jacob Martin Band, you guys are, uh, as you said in the previous interview, you guys are kind of like country rock stars, basically. You're out on the road. You're working hard as dogs. And, uh, and proof of that is if you go to the Jacob Martin Band's Facebook page or their website right now, you will see – concerts booked for a year from right now. I mean, it's amazing. You guys are out there constantly. That's great. We're just road dogs, road warriors. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's kind of amazing, though. You guys are, you know, up-and-comers. Think about it, though. You guys haven't been around very long, but you've got such a great fan base and a great following already. You know, I mean, that's kind of the beauty of the Internet, allowing small yes. bands – to grow and cultivate a fan base that basically you can go anywhere in the country and you'll have people there that know your stuff and are there to see you and appreciate you. Absolutely. I just read a good article from Steve Albini, a producer. He did like, you know, Nirvana and Bush, all kinds of bands oh, yeah. and stuff like that. And he's, you know, everybody says like, I don't know, like YouTube and Spotify and all those it's, it's so bad, you know, for, for artists or, or maybe the record labels aren't obviously right. they're not digging it but like man just 
being able to, um, it was, you know, it was in, I was inspired by the reading. It was just, you know, nowadays it's just with the internet and all that stuff, just being able to get closer to, to fans and having, you know, people hear your music and, um, the fan interaction with, with Facebook and YouTube and, and, uh, just, you know, being able to independently, you know, do, make a living off, off doing it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's great. It's a good, it's a good article. Without, check it out. Without services like that. I mean, my, my show wouldn't be around, you know, I use Spotify on a, a daily basis in order to, find up-and-comers or lead me from, you know, one up-and-coming band to another up-and-coming band. And, you know, I mean, it, it's 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 true with all the, the major labels and the major artists like, you know, Jason Aldean, Taylor Swift, and Justin Moore, you know, that are pulling their music from Spotify and YouTube and things like that. I honestly think that it's opening more doors for guys like you and bands like you where, absolutely, you know, if... <laughs> I, w- I went to Spotify to find Jason Aldean, but found a Jacob Martin band instead. So yeah, really? thumbs up yeah. for me. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know what uh, the thought process was there, but I, I think it's opening more opportunities up for the small up and coming band that sounds. It is. And then you think like overseas and, you know, being able to, to share music that way through, through the internet. And um, I don't know. We could go on and on, but it's just. <laughs> It seems to be good for for up and coming music. I mean, but in the old days, man, you couldn't like. How are you supposed to to get that to the masses? Yeah, you know, like. Well, it's just, you you pretty much saying I I think maybe for record labels and and stuff like that with you know they're trying to find a way to make their money. Yeah. You know, now with people aren't buying a lot of discs and stuff, so. I don't know. Like they're probably not digging, digging all the free music thing. You know. <laughs> well, before before we uh, get cut off again because Sony heard us talking bad about them or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. really. <laughs> but the beautiful thing is, uh, it was kind of a perfect segue for the pimp yourself portion of the show, sir. How can people find you online and uh, you know start following you guys and become big fans of the Jacob Martin band? So when you guys do finally get to their area. Uh, they'll be That's right there right. front and center of the stage. Well, Facebook.com slash Jacob Martin Band. Um, like us. Like. And uh, what, what do we got? Um, we got that Twitter, uh, at Jacob Martin Band. And we got the face, our, I already said the Facebook, the website, <laughs> JacobMartinBand.com. Just Google us, Jacob Martin, Jacob Martin Band. Yeah. But you won't yeah. find too many of them. It'll be kind of a one and done kind of deal. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, yeah. Uh, Jacob Martin. It's it's funny. Like when they go to gas station, oh, what's the name of your band? You know, Jacob Martin, and uh, we, we say the man's so nice they named him twice. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but yeah, no, it's easy to find online. So you head on over to the website, their Facebook, uh, Twitter account as well, and you'll be able to. Find out basically everything you need to know about them, which uh, if you're following along, uh, they got a new EP out as well. It's Look at What You Started. It's the name of the EP. It's also the, uh, one of the tracks on the uh, on the disc as well. Um, it, it's kind of cool because you guys are doing like multiple CD release parties, it looks like. And you're kind of letting, yeah. letting the fans be part of what is normally like an exclusive Nashville only kind of event, which is kind of cool, I think. Yeah, yeah, we've got fans. All you know, we've got good fans in, in different spots, and a lot in the Midwest is really cool. Um, we did one in Chicago, uh, in in Minneapolis, and then we've got one coming up in um, Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah, I saw it's that. It's actually uh, Friday in <laughs> Lacrosse. 
Yeah, that's uh, about a four-hour drive from me. I don't know if I'll be able to make that one, sir. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> with the we'll we'll, uh, we'll uh, you can Google hang out with us. You know, we'll figure that out. Yeah, put a cam up, and I'll just be like in the in the booth here at the st- at the station. Just be awesome. Like, just be we'll like, put you, we'll put you on a on an amp, <laughs> and it'll just be your face, your big face, like looking hey, <laughs> like on stage with us. Every, every one of the fans at the bar would be like, who is that guy, and why is he watching me? <laughs> awesome. We'll put, like, a keytar in front of you or something like that. There we go. Because yeah. it's, it's the way. It's the, it's the future. <laughs> I'll just pretend to be playing the synthesizer or something like that. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> but, no, it's kind of cool that you guys are letting, you know, what is normally reserved for, you know, executives and producers and things like that. The CD release party is kind of a – you know, a time honored tradition of, you know, patting the, the artist on the back from the office, you know, but you guys are letting the fans be part of it multiple times over, which is, which is great. It's a good way to, to give back to the fan base. It, it is. Yeah. That's what it's all about. It's all, what do you have if you don't have fans and, and, you know, people, uh, buying into, you know, buying your music and stuff that you create Yeah, and, and digging it, you know, um, the CD, it's been cool. Like usually, you know, down in Nashville, you know, they have a, there's world class, you know, musicians that oh, yeah. do a lot of the the big artists C- CDs. You know, they'll, they'll have the, the A team they call it play on on uh, on the discs. Uh, you know, like everybody from Luke Bryan to what to whatever. Um, but with you know nowadays, you know, it's it's been a little more. Uh, Liberal with some bands, you know, like you've got uh, with Parmalee, and and we were able to the band was able to play in the studio. Yeah. Um, so that's all of us on on the CD, um, and uh, it was produced by uh, Jody Stevens. I'm gonna you're gonna pick up a couple names here because I'm gonna drop them. <laughs> uh, now is the time. Yeah, definitely. Now is the time. But jo- yeah, Jody uh, Stevens. He's uh, Jeff Stevens is his dad, who produces Luke Ryan, and I think Jody's going to be teaming up with him on the new on the new Luke, which is great because Jody's just super cool and and hip and with uh, with production and, and beats and different stuff like that. And he did the Cole Swindell uh, chilling it song. Oh, great! Uh, obviously, like honestly, all by himself. Um, it started. It was it was a demo, it was supposed to be a demo to pitch, but uh, you know, the writers were like, Jody, take this and, you know, kind of give it the, give it a vibe, barefoot blue jean slash, uh, you know, Luke Bryan kind of vibe. And, and, um, and so he demoed that and did that all himself, like in his underwear, you know, and then <laughs> Cole sang on it and they were like, you know, it don't sound too bad, you know, and they, they got it mixed up and stuff and on the highway and the rest is history. But, so Joey yeah, you worked with that with Cole and and um you know, then with, now we're gonna be with Luke. But yeah, he produced us and um just did a great job, man. Like he's you know, he's great. If he's great, uh, if Jody hears this, I'm sure he's gonna appreciate the fact that you said he was working on Cole Swindell in his underwear. Absolutely, <laughs> man. I think he would. I think he would too. And hopefully there was Christmas trees on his all on his uh his uh, boxers. Look, he's a he's got to be a boxer guy. I think uh, yeah, he's maybe boxer briefs or something like that. So boxer, yeah, yeah. boxer briefs. But, you know, I mean, it, it's the full feel, but it's a little bit of the extra support in there. So yeah, exactly. There you he's go. Kinda, <laughs> but he's no, he's great, and and uh, we were able to write a lot more of the the songs on there, um, and uh, along with Mike, the bass player, Mike Guy. Uh, was uh, we have a couple on there together, and then um, I think I wrote a lot of the songs except except for one that we had to do that was that was great. It was a, a buddy of mine, uh, Aaron Goodman, who's a great writer and artist, and he had a song that we dug, and uh, it was like it was a little too a little too hard for him, so he gave it to us, um, and uh, yeah, I mean it's. It's great. We're real proud of it, and finally, it's out. And um, 
Look what you started. Yeah. Look the, at what you started. Look at the uh, look at what you started is the new CD out from the Jacob Martin Band, and the lead single off of it is "Take It to the Moonlight." Tell us a bit about that one before we dive into it, sir. Well, "Take It to the Moonlight" it was just it was just one of those songs. Um, you know, we got together and, and wrote. Jody's on Jody, the you know Jody's. It's me, Jody, Mike, guy, and uh, songwriter Andrew Rollins, and we were just kind of late night hanging out let's just try to write you know let's write a song and and it happened and and i think you know the you know it was, it's a good song but you know what the, the production that jody did around it really really made the song shine and and something that you know he again demoed it for us you know and then we listened to it we're like wait a second now this is pretty cool and um you know it's just it's uh, something about it. I don't know, just production-wise and, and feel-wise that we had to put it on the album and cut it. And um, you know, it's just it's a uh, we're really trying to like we're we're really not a, a a bro country kind of outfit. Which nothing wrong with that. You know, FGL and and, and those guys they got it. They all they all got it on lock. But mm. we're kind of more of the um, I don't know, like more of the. I heard a, uh, I heard a new subgenre name over the last weekend, sir. It's uh, it might fit in fit you guys pretty well. It's muscle country. Muscle country. Yeah. Uh, nice. They're saying that you know Jason Aldean, Brantley Gilbert, things like that. They're muscle country. They're not bro country. They you know they got the hard edge to them, but they're not you know. I mean they they they're they're more traditional than the bro stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Muscle. I think, yeah, muscle country. There you go. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's it's cool, man. Um, yeah, you. I mean, you're going to play it in a little bit, and we'll uh, take, take it to the moonlight. There you go. About, it's, well, about a lay, it's, about a, it's about a woman, and uh, when you're writing songs, there's, there's three songs, three uh, subjects you write about, and that's women, women, and women. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the uh, on the writing philosophy of Jacob Martin, uh, sir, I think that's uh, I think that's going to do it for us, sir. I appreciate you taking some time out a couple times throughout your uh, last couple weeks. So we finally got this hammered down. Right on. Well, thanks for having me, and maybe we'll uh, we'll do it again somehow with with the whole band and, and cut go. it up. Yeah, that'd be great. That would be that would be fun. So, well, Jacob Martin for uh for the rest of the listeners here of the Off the Beaten Path podcast, we appreciate you, sir, and uh keep on doing what you're doing, but right now we're going to dive into it. This is Take It to the Moonlight. It's Jacob Martin band here on Off the Beaten Path podcast. I think that there. Standing by the bar and looking at you Can I buy you a drink? What you got in that juice? Oh, tell your friends You'll be back in a few I want to dance with you Would that be cool? Cause girl, your eyes are like a sunset sky I'm feeling it Now how about you What you wanna do Cause girl your eyes Are like the sunset sky And the way you move Under that neon sign You got that disco ball Leaving every curve just right What do you say Just you and I Shake it to the
Beaten Path Podcast. He's my husband. He just don't know it yet. Come With on. me, Ben Mary. <laughs> like us on Facebook.com backslash OTBP Podcast. Little mama, everybody knows you and me got gypsy souls. Can't sit still for very long We need our hair blowing in the wind Red sun beating on our skin Rolling wheels and a traveling song So honey, let's keep moving on I want to kiss you in Caroline Lay under them Georgia pines Drink in California wine All afternoon I want to see you in San Antonio Out west with a sundress on Wherever, cause girl, I'm gone As long as I'm with you It don't matter All over the map We can get a little New Orleans Darling, you can be my Delta Queen And I'll be your Mardi Gras We can get a little Pompano Beach Find a spot just you and me Light a fire and watch the stars fall Honey, I want to do it all I want to kiss you in Caroline Lay under them Georgia pines Drink in California wine All afternoon I want to see you in San Antonio out west with a sundress on Wherever, cause girl, I'm gone As long as I'm with you It don't matter where we're at Or if we ever make it back Baby, I wanna love you All over the map Off the Beaten Path Podcast, meet Ben Merritt. There he is, Chris Rogers. Chris Rogers here on Off the Beaten Path Podcast with his tune all over the map of the album Rolling Wheel. It came out late 2013, but see, again, that's the point. That is the point, people, is I'm finding new stuff out there, so therefore, obviously, there's something for you to find out there. I've been working in country music radio for eight years, nine years, excuse me, 
doing this podcast for two years, and there's stuff out there that it still slipped through my cracks even. Watch it. Don't make that dumb joke. I make the dumb jokes. So, again, make sure that you check out Chris Rogers. Again, you can find his website at chrisrogersmusic.com. Great, great kid. Up and coming. Again, he's working hard coming out of Georgia. Coming out of my home state of Michigan, Bay City, Michigan, as a matter of fact, right there at the tip of the thumb. Well, the groove of the thumb. Anyway, right there. Steve Armstrong and the 25 Cent Beer Band. Breaking records in the state of Michigan for a while now. Again, here it is. This is the redneck side. Steve Armstrong and the 25 Cent Beer Band. I'm a rolling stone and my back roads is where I call my home I'm a country boy and I don't belong in the bright lights of L.A. I got a pickup truck with a straight pipe sound Come Friday night I ride through town Radio up, windows roll down All the women, they look my way Cause I'm a fun-loving, beer-chugging, reckless kind That don't take nothing Put me down when you show enough step outside I like With a big hell yeah, a whole lot of American pride Just a little on the redneck side When the weekend comes, we got a steel guitar Blaring out loud from a roadhouse bar I put a dollar in that old tip jar And we'll play another paycheck song There's late night women in old pool halls Cigar smoking ballroom brawls With deer heads hanging on the wall Maybe that's where I call home Kind of don't take nothing Put me down, we can show no stuff outside I like Jim Beam and John Wayne Us good old boys, we're all the same We're the big hell yeah Whole lot of American pride Just a little over it next time Faded jeans and a flannel shirt My old boots kicked up in dirt Living fast and living free, yeah. I don't give a damn what you think of me. Kinda don't take nothing. Put me down, we can show no step outside. All the Beaten Path Podcast, meet Ben Merritt. Yeah, Steve Armstrong and the 25 Cent Beer Band. Like I said, they were, uh, they were award winning, record breaking. They, uh, they won the American, or excuse me, they won a Michigan Idol, uh, back in 2007, then again in 2009, then again in 2011 and 2012. No band had won Michigan Idol that many times, uh, period, ever. And also they broke a record as well with 12 Review Music Awards as well. That was another record that they broke. So very cool stuff from Steve Armstrong and the 25 Cent Beer Band. Here you go. It's Brindley Addington now. I've played him before. See, you just got to keep listening. Brindley Addington now. It's middle of nowhere. It's Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. Ain't a place at all You can't find it on a map Don't know what it's called And on a clear night You can see stars for days And watch the sun come up From the drop tailgate Take a ride to the hilltop Ain't nothing but a whole lot of fireflies Flying like golden diamonds Man in the moon Got the whole world shining Hey pretty girl I wanna take you there
sound of the woods when there's nobody else around. Listen to the wind blow, honeysuckle, honey. Get a little backwoods truck bed loving. Write our names in a pine tree. Off the Beaten Path podcast, meet Ben Merritt. There is up-and-comer Brindley Addington. Sounds like someone who's from Maine or something like that. No, (laughs) I'm not picking on anybody. Please believe me when I say that. So Brindley's got a ton of stuff that you can check out, back catalog too. Uh, this is his new album that is just coming out called Middle of Nowhere. It's a, it's an extended, extended EP. It's seven tracks. Uh, but from 2011, he's got another full album out there, 11 tracks, uh, from 2011, it's called Homegrown. So make sure that you uh, check that out. Brindley Addington, it's got plenty of backstory for you as well. And by the way, he's from Tennessee. He is not from, like, New England. <laughs> anyway, thanks to Jacob Martin for stopping by from the Jacob Martin Band. Chatting with him was kind of fun. We did it, like, 16 times. So, therefore, it, it had to be fun, right? <laughs> Now that we're into the new year, you can expect lots of great new stuff from us here at Off the Beaten Path Podcast. Next week, Madeline Merlot. That's going to be our guest for the episode. So don't forget, spread the love, people. If you love the episode that you heard, or even if it's just one of the bands that you heard, make sure you head on over to iTunes, download the episode. Also, throw a review up there. Throw a rating. Just help me out a little bit. That's all I'm asking. Or you can just share it. I mean, obviously, I don't I don't mind. It's all right. I've been going on as long as I have been. And just, you know, pass the word along. Hey, man, did you check out this new country music stuff out there? I'd appreciate it. I really, really would. OTBPpodcast.com. Also on Facebook and Twitter, at OTBPpodcast. And on Facebook, OTBPpodcast as well. OTBPpodcast.com is the easiest way to follow everything around, though. I know. Kind of goofy. I don't know why. I'm having a good day. Again, Madeline Merlot, our guest for next week. Thanks to Jacob Barton Band, and thanks to you as well for stopping by Off the Beaten Path podcast with me, Ben Merritt. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye.